Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So I know I look a little weird right now, but that is because I do not have any lip product on because today I'm gonna be doing a review of first impressions and kind of a wear test of, I'm sure you guys have heard of this already. This is this product that I've seen all over social media these days. It is a lip sense. If you guys don't know what it is, well, join the club because I wasn't too sure what it is, to be honest. I'm still fairly new to it. Um, but apparently what this is, it's a new version of a long wearing liquid lipstick. Um, it doesn't dry matte per se, but from what I've seen on the videos, it's actually pretty cool and impressive. Um, one video that I see all the time when people are demonstrating the product is that you can put two totally different lip colors, like one on your top lip, one on your bottom, and like rub your lips together and they won't mix, which when I saw that I was like, wow, like how did that, like how does that work? So it's a little new to the realm of beauty, what I believe. Um, I've actually used the product one time, but not on myself. I actually had a client bring her own color for her wedding day because she swore by the color. She loved the red and she loved the way that it wore because it's so, so long lasting. So I used it on her and that was the only time that I was really familiar with the product. Um, it's, it's a little intimidating to be honest with you. I think anytime you try something new, you're a little afraid because I know I'm a little nervous. But I just want to give you guys a little bit of background information about prices and about what exactly is it so you guys are not totally like, what the hell is she talking about? So I just kind of Googled what is LipSense made of because since it's so um, long lasting, I was like, is this safe? Like, is it okay to use? So right off the bat, there is no lead in LipSense and it says LipSense will not dry out your lips when used with one of our companion shea butter and vitamin E moisturizing glosses, which is one of the items I got here in this little set. The Lip Sense moisturizing gloss is what cures the lip, the liquid lip color and deposits moisture into the lips. Lip Sense itself has no moisture value, so if you if you use it by itself, if you use it by itself, your lips will feel dry. So there you go. Was given to me. I did not purchase these with my own money. I just wanted to be honest about that. Um, a client of mine actually has a daughter who sells lip scents and she wanted me to try it out and to give a review. So not only was I on board with that, but I thought, you know what, since this is such a new product, I think there's a lot of people out there who would like to know an honest review about it. So I asked you guys on Snapchat how you wanted this review to be done. And a lot of you said to do a um, first impression but also a good amount of you said to do like over a time period, which means like wear it a few days. Now, a lot of you asked to wear it a few days because for those of you who have tried this before, you guys were actually telling me that when you first tried this, there was like a slight burn sensation on the lips. So, but that after a few days, you don't feel that anymore. So I wanted to see if that's true. I don't know if the product's been updated since then. Um, we'll find out, I'm not sure. But I definitely want to give a first impression. I haven't even broken the seal on these. I have not worn these at all. And after this first impression, I want to wear it a few more days to see if anything changes or what. So I will keep this video updated for you guys. I want to do at least like a three day wear test. As far as price points and how much product you get. So you get 25, flu oh, sorry. that's not right. You get 0.25 fluid ounces. So 0.25 fluid ounces in the bottles and prices i believe they're 25 like per item so if you guys are interested in purchasing this product i will provide the links down below to the representative that gave these to me that way you guys can check them out um and if that's not possible for you to get in contact with her i'm sure if you just google lip sense you will find someone in your area it's much like a, any direct selling company they have representatives all over all right so enough chit chat let's get to it um i do notice that there's like a little shaker in here, so like you can hear it. So I'm gonna give this a good shake before I apply it. I did look up a video, I did see how you're supposed to apply this, so I'm not going in completely blind. So I did look up a video on how to do this, and the girl that applied it, she started from the cupid's bow, and went out and out, and then started from the corner of the lip, and went in, and then went in, and she did it about three layers. So we're gonna try this out. So I'm gonna wipe off the excess. The only thing that concerns me with this is that I love like such a perfect lip line and I'm hoping I can still get that with 
like just using this because you really can't use a brush. I think you have to use the applicator. So let's go, first layer.
so apologize. I did not get a chance. That day, um, we were, I was working with my fiance with our side business and we were out doing a photo shoot for like hours. I didn't get home until really, really late and by that time I couldn't film. But just an update on how the lip sense lasted that day. It lasted really, really well. Like it did hold up exactly how it looked when I first applied it and put it on. Um, I did notice that when I got in the shower to finally like wash my makeup off, um, the way it came off, it was surprisingly easier than what I thought. I don't know if it's because I had it on all day and it was already sort of starting to get a little weak. Um, but basically it just came off pretty easily and when I would rub my lips together, it would just kind of like ball off and it just came off. So, and my lips felt pretty exfoliated after that, but I'm pretty sure it's because it like was pretty rough on the lips to be taking it off that way. But anyway, I did try it a few days um, after that and I tried it different ways. So here's what I found. I actually found that um, I wanted to test it with a lip liner and I was able to wear a lip liner underneath my edges. My whole deal is I really like a clean lip line, so the lip liner really helped with that and the product lasted just as well with it and worked just as well. I didn't see any type of uh, disruption with the wear application with lip liner underneath just on my edges. Um, and then also I was able to apply it with a brush, but just keep in mind that if you're doing it with a brush You also have to just keep going in that same direction because once this product dries You really can't be tugging in a different direction or else it'll kind of just like Pick up and it won't go on as smoothly So as long as you're doing the main thing is just to go and swipe in the same direction for all applications until you finally put on the glossy top coat and it lasted really well so in my opinion, I think if you're a makeup artist and you want to offer this product, it would be a really good product to offer because of the long wearing effect. My only downfall really with this is that you have to wear it glossy or satin at least to get like a really, really intense matte look. I don't believe you can. I don't believe there's a topper that goes on top of it. If I am wrong, please correct me, say in the comments well, you know, for those of you who know more about it, by all means, I think a lot of people would like to know more about this product. And like I said, I don't mind being corrected. If that's, you know, if I don't know, I'm not a distributor, so I don't really know too much um, about what they offer. Maybe they do offer like a matte top coat and you guys can let my other subscribers or other viewers know what they offer because I could be totally wrong. But like I said, that would be my only complaint really. So it's definitely a different product. What I noticed and what I would say about the company though is that it has been around for a while. I think now it's just kind of getting a little bit more of a attention to it. Um, I just think they would really, really benefit if they just updated the packaging a little bit. The packaging does look a little bit dated, so that would be the only thing. Um, I think as women, we like to buy a lot of our cosmetics because of the prettiness of the packaging. I know I do. I know that's not like the smartest thing to do, but I'm not gonna lie and say that packaging doesn't influence me because it influences me a whole lot. <laughs> so that would be pretty much it for this review. I think for the claims of it being long wearing, for sure. Cons of it being glossy and then the smell of it when you first put it on. And that's, oh, by the way, the second time I applied it, I really didn't feel a tingle in my lips. The first time was just the first time I felt like a tingle. But after that, every time I would try it out, um, the tingle got less and less until finally about the third time I tried it and it just basically didn't tingle anymore. And it's not a very, it's not an uncomfortable tingle. It's just like very, very slight. So it shouldn't hurt you in any way. At least I don't think so, unless you're allergic to something, but I don't think that would be the case. So if you're looking for a long wearing lip product, um, if you're someone that doesn't have time to touch up during the day, I definitely think this would be a really, really good product to look into. And if you're not a fan of a very matte look, this would also be just probably like your holy grail. Like I mentioned in the beginning of this video, I will link everything down below so you guys can check it out if you want to purchase it yourself. Um, I will link the distributor who gave this to me down below, or I'm pretty sure you can find someone in your area if you're more comfortable with that way. But at least now you know my thoughts at least, um, and hopefully it helps you. On another note, this makeup look, by the way, I did film this and this will be the next tutorial that I put up, which will be in a few days. So keep an eye out for that in case you are interested in the makeup I have on right now. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.